why I chose him then, because he would just get to know me, and he had a lovely bedroom store, and I thought it would be lovely to share it with you. So, make sure you've got your things up for your toy, a nice snuggly blanket, I've got my nice nightgown and my blanket on, and some pyjamas as well, so are you ready? Tom Nick says hi. I thought I'd share this book with you today. Hi to the Fatty and Dinosaur, and it's written by Jason Cockney. Let's have a look at the blur. What's this? It looks like it could be a big dinosaur. Special delivery, it's your new pet. But looking after a pet as big as a dinosaur can be a tiny bit tricky. How would you look after your very own dinosaur. I wonder how you would look after your dinosaur. Are you ready, Bummy? Yes, I am. How to look after my dinosaur? Oh, it looks like that postman's delivery. How I would look. Congratulations on your new pet. When you first meet him, you might find that he is surprisingly shy. But don't worry. He'll soon come out of his shell. It's really important to make sure your dinosaur feels at home. So why not start with a healthy breakfast to give him plenty of energy for the day ahead? Don't worry if your dinosaur is a bit slow to try new foods. He'll quickly find his appetite. After breakfast, your dinosaur may get fidgety. This is a perfect time to go for a gentle walk in the park. However, it won't be long until your pet needs to poo. So it's advisable to carry a bucket of spades at all times. Sometimes a bucket and a spade will not be enough. Most dinosaurs can't swim and your pet may be frightened near water. It's best to avoid playing near beaches, lakes or rivers. A small pond or a puddle can be great fun there. As long as your dinosaur is properly dressed. Oh, I think he's ready for a swim, don't you? Can you see that he's wearing? Dinosaurs love company. Why not encourage your pet to meet new people and make friends? After all, no one knows better than a dinosaur that friendship is all about sharing. Do you think he's doing complete sharing here? What do you think? Remember to feed your dinosaur regularly. Dinner can be very excitable time. But if you're quiet and calm, he might just settle down. After a full day at the park, your dinosaur will be feeling tired. To try to get him home at a reasonable hour. Once you're at home, don't forget that all dinosaurs thrive on a proper bedtime routine. After a light supper, a bath is a good idea. Make sure that the water is not too hot and always use an appropriate amount of soap. Hmm, do you think they've used? Good amount of soap here. Lots of bubbles to put a bath in. Are you? Hmm. I think Bummy is getting a bit sleepy. When your dinosaur is squeaky clean, consider sharing a bedtime story. Try not to choose books that are too exciting, as these will keep your pets awake. Your dinosaur's story time is a moment for calm. And always remember that you treat him well, your dinosaur, can be a friend for life.
if you enjoyed the story, head to Oaks and Bumblebees. Night night, sweet dreams.